Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. I know this does not look like a Wednesday video, but it is actually from Sunday. So Wednesdays, as you know, was typically my wind down Wednesday day for video uploads. I'm still gonna do my wind down Wednesdays, but today I wanted to upload my video from Sunday. Sunday was really a slow day for me. After being out Saturday running errands, driving the motorized shopping cart in Walmart and using crutches, child, I was like, mm -mm, Sunday need to be a rest day. Anyway, um, that little cleanser that I showed you is Equate Age Resisting, and I love it. It has a really light fragrance. It exfoliates. Now, Olay has one. However, it broke my face out. So I was like, well, let me try the Walmart brand and it is really good i don't use it all the time because you know i do love my elf products as well but you know if you can get a screenshot of it it's a really good one um so i went on and did my skincare and y'all listen yes i do use baking soda on my teeth and i also use peroxide sometimes because you know it helps to clean your teeth with peroxide and baking soda sometimes but anyway got my little mouthwash going i just wanted to take my time and get through my skincare and pamper myself and then i was like listen girl you're not gonna sit here in this robe all day so i put on one of my little outfits from tiktok oh yeah by the way i use aluminum free deodorant i like the secret and i like dove and i have a couple different fragrances that i like um my perfume today was that Layali rouge um oh by the way this eye cream that i showed y'all a while ago that i got from marshall's it is the bomb let me tell you do people still say the bomb i think i just dated myself anyway it's really good for depuffing. so if you're looking for um an eye cream to depuff, that one really does work um so hopefully you can go back and get a screenshot right now i'm putting on my hyaluronic acid i like the ordinary i have tried a couple other ones but they were sticky and i didn't like them at all this hyaluronic acid once you let it dry there's no sticky residue and your face feels really good so i know i ain't going nowhere but i'm gonna keep putting on my little perfume because i like to smell good while i'm in the house and next up we're gonna go ahead and do this moisturizer y'all have seen this l'oreal collagen before that's my absolute favorite daytime moisturizer when i'm not going out and i have fallen in love with this lip balm i showed y'all that a few weeks back in um one of my amazon hygiene hauls so i really like it it's not really greasy and it doesn't have a strong minty um flavor to it and it doesn't have a strong minty aroma but it does feel good on your lips don't pay me no mind i almost pulled the plug out of my hair child mm -mm. so after getting dressed i decided to go ahead and you know do a little something to the mop that was on my head and um then i went on downstairs and y'all i'm gonna show you this whole outfit because i really like it and i'm probably gonna order another one because it's super super soft so comfortable so this is the outfit i love the way it fits the only thing i didn't like is the cut of the shirt because it did ride up some uh, on the back the pants were nice and long i mean it just had a really good feel and you can see here where it rises up on the back but maybe that's just because that's how it fits on me but at any rate i really like this outfit from tiktok so y'all try to go ahead and get you one they had them in other colors too so um here i'm just getting my um i was gonna do a uh, lavender milk but i wanted coffee so this is how i make lavender simple syrup and i'm actually making a honey syrup and i use this sometimes when i want a lavender latte or if i just want a lavender tea sometimes i'll just make this quick little simple syrup using honey and add it to my drink it is very aromatic and if you don't like lavender definitely don't use a lot of it because it will take on the lavender fragrance as well as the taste of the lavender because you're going to have to boil it in order to infuse it um 
this is the lavender i got this from a shop on etsy and i'll try to remember to tag it um well not tag it to actually put it in, in the description box it's where i get most of my loose teas from um can't wait until summer though that way i can make my own you know get my own herbs and dry them out and make my own loose teas so as you can see here i'm getting my coffee together i'm just really taking my time and moving slow and well i'm moving slow anyway because of this daggone knee but i just wanted to take in the day and enjoy it so now i'm just adding my little honey lavender syrup to my coffee and by the way it's not super sweet i know it's like it looks like it would be but it's really not because i didn't use a lot of honey as you saw as you saw and the honey to water ratio you know that helps you don't have to add a little bit of honey, I mean, a little bit of lavender to the top of your coffee or tea, but you can. So um, I fixed myself some scrambled eggs and a piece of toast. Just, you know, taking my time. And I don't do this very often, but it's necessary. So if you don't really do slow days, slow mornings, try it out. I'm telling you, it really just sets the tone for your day to be very relaxing. Um, I like to do my devotions and Bible study uh, reading off of my iPad and I have my planner because whatever the scripture for the day is, I not only jot it down in my planner, but I also put it in the notes section of my iPad. Like what I do is I go to the day that I'm reading and I make sure that I write the scripture down on that particular day. And sometimes I'll actually write a prayer for that particular day as well. Um, but I like to take notes on what I'm reading. And then I'm not sure if you guys do it, but if you go on YouTube, well, we're on YouTube right now, right? There's a couple of people that do really good devotionals and you can follow along with them in the Bible. And that's very important to me. If somebody's teaching or preaching, I need to be able to follow along in the Bible. And if I can't, then I don't, mm -mm, I can't do it because I need the word to come from the word and not from something that y'all making up. Anyway, that's a whole nother story for a whole different day. So I'm done with uh, my reading and stuff. And now I'm getting ready to get back into reading this book. Um, we should all be millionaires. And this is the second time I'm reading this book. And I have done highlights in it several times before, as you can see. And I never really took notes. So this time as I'm reading it, I'm going to take notes and add them in my planner. I'm not going to use them in the digital planner, but I'm going to write it on paper. That way I can actually go back to it, leaf through it write some more highlight and I know you can do all that stuff digitally but I'm a pen and paper girl for the most part or pencil and paper so I just like to you know take notes and when things stand out to me I like to write them at the very top of the page because those are things that I'm like okay this really was important so that's what you see me doing here this part of the book that I was reading was very important to me so I wrote it at the top of this page that way I can reference it um, after that, you know, I wanted to give myself some tea because y'all know how I love my tea. I'm just making um, some mint chamomile tea because I think I told y'all before, but me and eggs are not the best of friends and felt kind of nauseous after eating. Even though I had a piece of toast with it, it still made my stomach feel queasy. So chamomile and mint are both really good for fighting nausea. Um, raspberry is good too, but I don't have any dried raspberry. So I just made a little mix of mint and chamomile tea and um, just had that sipped on that and later in the afternoon y'all know what's coming up i had to give me some popcorn and wine one of my favorite snacks so i um had some smoked popcorn on friday night at the cigar and whiskey tasting event that i went to and i fell in love with the popcorn oh my gosh so they had truffle oil and um smoked paprika and i used this is just a regular old bag of pop secret and i didn't put any extra oil on it but i did put the smoked paprika and it was good it wasn't as good as theirs but it was really good this is me sitting out on the back porch just again enjoying my day watch excuse me y'all watching postcard killings and then my husband cooked dinner because he wants me to stay off my leg and i had some spinach salmon and rice anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and i'll talk to you soon